Okay, welcome to another video on kinematics and uh, this topic is about kinematics equation and how it was derived. How did we arrive with this four set of magical equations? I would say magical because it has a lot of applications. You might not see it, you might not uh, you know, uh, encounter it, but uh, in aviation, in, in automobile, in engineering, these are the life of the course. So it's very, very important. And perhaps if you're traveling with your car, with your bike, you don't measure this actually, but you just enjoy the ride and what, you know, uh, enjoy the, the bike. But uh, this is physics and this is very much application. So where did it came from? This is set of equations. Okay, we have equation number one, two, three, four. Let's start with equation number one. Actually, this equation number one, V equals V naught plus AT, it started with the definition of your acceleration. Where is that? Acceleration is delta V over delta T. So it started with that. Okay? So the definition of acceleration is delta V over delta T. And we know that uh, delta is change that is final minus initial over T minus T naught. Okay? And of course, we usually start at uh, T0. Timer starts now. It means the initial time is zero. So we can actually cancel that. So A is just equal to V minus V naught over T. Now in algebra, you can do this. You can uh, cross multiply. Chuk, chuk, chuk. You can do that, right? So if you cross multiply, T will be, uh, will be uh, you can put now in the left side of the equation, AT. That's V minus V naught now on the right side. Or you can transfer V naught to the other side. It will become positive. So V naught plus AT equals V. Or you can say V, of course, the standard for the equation is usually the required is on the other side, on the left side. V equals V naught plus AT. Okay? And this is equation number one. Look at that. Okay, so that's where it came from, from the basic definition of acceleration. Okay, so it's not magic, it's math and physics. Okay, the equation number two is x equals one half v naught plus v quantity times time. Where did it came from? Okay, uh, I think I need to think what equation. So where did this equation came from? Um, Perhaps you can start with the definition of velocity. Average velocity is defined as delta x over delta t. Okay? And uh, we can also, when you talk about average, you, do, you, you get the mean. You add everything divided by the, the total number. So let's say you have uh, initial and final velocity. So average velocity can, can be given as the average of initial and final. Initial plus final, the average divided by 2. Okay, so that's the two definitions of velocity, average velocity. The first one is this displacement over time, and the second one is the average velocity is initial plus final divided by two. So that's where you get the mean or the average. So you can equate them. When you say equate, equate them, so V uh, average velocity equals average velocity. So, so here we have V naught plus V over two, equate that to delta x over delta t okay or i can i can write it like this v naught plus v over 2 equals x minus x naught over t minus t naught but here again when you solve problems you you can simplify it at time t naught equal to zero at rest initial uh, displacement yeah, you can assign it your coordinates as the starting point or x not equal to zero. So you can cancel these two out, these two out. Okay, so what you have is v naught plus v over two equals x over t. Okay, it's now simpler, right? Yeah, simpler now. Okay, let's go here. So cross multiply. Okay, what will happen? You cross multiply. So t will be you know, you can transfer T to the left side of the equation. So it's V naught plus V over two 
times t equals x, right? Or x is equal to 1 half v naught plus v times t. And what is this? This is your equation number 2. Okay, so we just derived equation number 2, the kinematics equation number 2. Okay, so how about equation number 3? So this is a little bit complicated now because if there's some squared thing here, v squared equals v naught squared plus 2ax. Okay, where do we start? Hmm. Okay, there is 2ax. So what you can do is, uh, actually I, I derived it already for you guys. <laughs> okay, so we can start with x, the definition of displacement, one half from equation number Equation number two, one half, v naught plus v times t. Okay? So what you can do is you cross multiply. This becomes 2x equals v naught uh, plus v times t. Okay? Remember the definition of um, acceleration. Acceleration is given as v na v minus v naught over t that, that, that is your delta v over delta d right so mm -hmm. here cross multiply a t equals v minus v naught or t equals v minus v naught over a so if we're going to substitute the value for time here here we can actually manipulate 2x will become v naught plus a v. No, wait, this is v. If I made some mistake, please comment down below. And for the value for time now, use v minus v naught over a. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you know the FOIL method of algebraic uh, multiplication. So multiply that, multiply that. Multiply that, multiply that. Okay, so let me undo that. So you know this, review. Okay, 2x equals, so what I have is v naught times v over a, everything over a. v naught v times v naught times negative v naught. It's negative v naught, right? v naught squared, and then v times v plus v squared. v times negative v naught is negative v naught v. Everything divided by a. So here you can cancel out something. This is cancelled. So what you will have is 2x equals negative v naught or you can write v squared minus v naught squared over a. And mm, transfer a to the left side of the equation. 2ax equals v squared minus v naught squared or transfer v naught to the left side v naught squared to the left side of the equation so we have v naught squared plus 2ax equals v squared or you can write it v squared equals v naught squared plus 2ax and this is now your kinematic equation number three okay so we just derived it okay <laughs> That's a little bit tough because it's highly mathematical and it requires your brain cells to really function well. <laughs> How about the third equation? So perhaps, I think this is a little bit simple. Perhaps we can start with V equals V naught plus 80. Mm -hmm. How do we go from, from here? Um, another definition is X equals the one half V naught plus v times time, okay? Okay, wait, what should we do? Hmm. Perhaps this becomes 2x equals mm, v naught, Yeah, v naught plus v times t. Now you distribute t. 2x equals v naught t 
plus V T. Okay. So perhaps we can substitute a V here from here. Okay. So 2x transfer V not T becomes minus V not T equals V T. And then divide both sides of the equation by T. So V is equal, I'll, I'll just go shortcut. 2x over T minus V not T over T, which is canceled. So I'll just delete it. Oh, wait, no. So I'll just cancel it. So V is equal to what? 2x over T minus V naught. And now perhaps, um, perhaps you can equate the two. Perhaps you can equate the two. They're all V. So let's continue here. So we have, well, that's V equals V. So this one first. The first P to X over T minus V naught equals to the other V, V naught plus A T. Okay. Hmm, what should we do? Perhaps you can transfer the V naught to the right side. So move this here. Okay. So 2X over T equals V naught plus V naught plus A T. That becomes 2 V naught. 2x over t equals 2v naught uh, plus 80. And then what you're going to do is cross multiply. Multiply everything by t. So you have 2x equals 2v naught t plus a t times t becomes t squared. And then we need the x to be, uh, to be alone. So divide both sides of the equation by x, by 2. So x equals... 2 v naught t divided by 2 plus 2 a t squared over 2. So this cancel out. So therefore, that's x v naught t plus you can factor out to 1, one half a t squared. And what is this equation? This is now the fourth equation of kinematics. Okay, so these are the derivations of the kinematics equation. Okay, so next we're going to discuss the kinematics equation but in y direction, specifically free fall. So hope to see you in the next video.